Hey, welcome back, gang gang. Y'all already know when you hear that music drop, Black Table Talk. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just get into it and see what it's giving. Y'all know it's pretty much gonna be giving the what? The truth, the divine truth. So help us, Most High. <laughs> Sometimes I do forget to say that. But that's neither here nor there. Let's jump right into it. Let's slide into it. I like to slide into things. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Negativity. Somebody asked me, is it either eye bracelet negative? No. It's what someone puts on the bracelet that makes it negative. These things that you are buying, sage, crystals, these are instruments and tools that were created by the Most High to help you. But these people use it to put negativity on it because in your mind is designed, and you know it is designed, to help you. So they will put a demon on it or something negative attached to it. So the evil eye bracelet or whatever itself is not negative. It's what someone attaches it, like put on it. Okay? Or try to put on it. Because some people don't even... Some people can't even put on it, can't even put shit on it because they're not even that powerful or that knowledgeable or whatever the case may be. <laughs> the divine say, sit your ass down. Um, the main message is if you have something that is supposed to rid negativity, right? Rid means get rid of it. If you are using anything of that nature, and the negative shit that you're banishing is still coming up. Do not let people tell you, oh, well, that's a divine saying you're not learning. No, you probably you possibly could have learned. Is <laughs> what you using to remove that shit up out of it. It ain't removing it. Pay attention. Be very observant. Because if I buy something that's supposed to rid me of evil or negativity or something in particular and that shit is still attached to me or still happening, whatever the situation is, you know what resonates with you, what fits your bill. I wouldn't use that shit no more because apparently that shit is not working or it's not what for me. <laughs> Meaning, get it up out of there. Now, Florida water. Because the divine really says, speak on this Florida water. Please speak on this Florida water. So, I told them, y'all want me to speak on this Florida water? I'm going to be petty as hell when I speak on it. They said, we don't give a damn. <laughs> be petty. As long as you get the message out. Okay, I'm going to be petty. Florida water. Is any of you guys that's using the shit, are y'all from Florida? <laughs> I didn't think so. So, you guys are not even from Florida and you're using Florida water. And for you smart asses who say, oh, well, it's just the name. Well, let's talk about the Florida water name. <laughs> it's perfume. It's cologne. <laughs> it's a smell good. Now, for those of you guys who say, well, our ancestors used this same water. <laughs> no, the fuck they didn't. And for one, those ancestors were enslaved <laughs> or supposedly. Because <laughs> according to the divine, slavery never happened. It's just a fucking illusion. Because if you ask your great, 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 great grands that are still living... <laughs> What slaves did they see? <laughs> they might have witnessed segregation, but <laughs> they ain't see no slaves. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get back to the goddamn Florida water. Um, these was enslaved <laughs> Africans that you're speaking of. <clears throat> Who was using this so they didn't smell a certain way. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> they wasn't using it to get spirits off of them. They knew how to get spirits off of them. <laughs> like, you can take some water and you can bless it yourself. And I don't even like to say the word blessed, but you know what I mean. Like, you can pray over it. Thank you, Devon. We don't bless shit over here. Um, You pray over it. Put all your intention and say it's going to rid you of what you needed to rid you of. <laughs> you know, be specific. Write it down. Practice it until you know what it is that you want the divine to hear you say before you let it roll off your tongue. You hear that vroom? Like, a lot of people be like, well, I be using Florida water. And I be like, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh in your face, but this shit ain't working, is it? And then they, it crickets. I be like, damn, you be quick to say, you know, if I ask them what's wrong going, like, what, like what's going on in their life that's not, that's not right, they be quick to answer. 
But if I ask them, you know, like, is it working or something? Crickets. Because then they start to thinking and they be like, you know what? That shit ain't working. Throw that shit in the trash. Learn who you are before you just grab something and roll with it. Okay? Because we don't just grab shit and roll with it. Would you just grab a bag of money and roll with it? Mm-mm. And if you say, yeah, I would, you crazy. Because <laughs> that money could be a setup attached to the police. That money could be cartel money. And they waiting to see who pick it up. <laughs> now you got a bullet in you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, use your intuition. Because my intuition say, hey, grab that bag, bitch, I'm grabbing it. But if my intuition say, you better leave that money alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. But then some of us, you know, we... We let that flesh take over. And that flesh say, baby, you you need this money. You need this. Go ahead and grab it. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes you fall in between certain places, nicks and crannies and shit. That's how you get the fuck back up. So if you've been buying Florida water or you've been buying shit, don't beat yourself up, baby. You didn't know. If you didn't know, you didn't know. But you know now. <laughs> you feel me? So what is it that you're going to do now with this knowledge that you know? Are you going to continue to be tricked? Or are you going to do your own research? Listen to your own intuition. Ask the most high and the divine. Hey, is this information that Brittany given? Is this shit correct? Sphinx tarot, exquisite intuition, however. And they're going to show you. Hey, listen to her. She on the song. <laughs> She's not here to hurt you. She's here to protect you. She's here to give you knowledge. She's here to make sure that you reach your fucking journey. Because if anybody, and I do mean anybody, think that they're going to stop you or restrict you from reaching your motherfucking journey, then that's when I step in because they are becoming a what? A hindrance. We don't fuck with hindrance. You cannot be a hindrance of the divine. No, 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 no. If a person chooses to... Not live in their purpose or not do their due diligence. That's on them. But no one's going to stop someone who wants to do those things. Meaning do their due diligence and walk in their purpose. No, no, no. Because then that's when that army. And I'm a part of that army. So that's where people like, mind your business. I can't. <laughs> and I want. <laughs> I'm on it, baby. I cannot and I will not. You are a hindrance. And it's my job to protect them. So do not block any message or try to because I don't have to do nothing, baby. The divine stands with me. They are for me because I am for them and I stand what for them. We stand together hand in hand. We go together like no other. <laughs> you feel me? Together, we are some bad mother. You know, let me shut my mouth. Anywho, if you need knowledge <clears throat> Let me clear my throat on that because they said they don't want me to get that out. <laughs> if you need knowledge, clarity, reassurance, come to me. One thing that I will do, if I do not know or I don't get no downloads, I will position you to where you can. It's not about getting money. It's not about me trying to give out the most messages or having the most clients or people come to me. That's not what it's about because the divine makes it so only certain vessels where people can grant people things. And I know that <laughs> that's in my mind, body, soul, and spirit. So I will intuitively know <laughs> this ain't my job. It's somebody else's job, baby. And one thing I'm not about to do <laughs> is do nobody else's job. You see how that voice switched up? <clears throat> Let's take it to the flesh. <laughs> when you go to work and they be like, hey, can you do Ashley's job? <laughs> Is you going to give me Ashley check too? Like, what the fuck? No, I'm not about to do nobody else's job, baby. Unless the divine tell me to. Unless my heart tells me to. Unless my mind. You see what I'm saying? But other than that, I really don't want to do nobody else's job, baby. That's not my job to do nobody else's job. If I'm doing somebody else's job, then that means I cannot do what? My job. And what is important is me doing what the fuck I have to do for me. <laughs> because I know if I fuck up and don't do me, and I'm supposed to be here to help over 10 billions of people, one of those 10 billions of people or some of those 10 billions of people can fall or fail due to me not doing what the fuck I needed to do because it's like a domino effect. If I don't do my job, then how the fuck can they do their job? 
Because maybe I'm the puzzle piece that they need in order for them to do their job. So if you have a gift or you have some type of knowledge or something, share it. Because if the world was going to go under water, right, and we needed Paul <laughs> to build the boat, but and Paul is in your group, not my group, you see, I gave Paul the uplifted message to make him lead the people alone, but it's your job to inspire him to build the boat. But you alone is not inspired to do your job. So how the fuck can you inspire Paul to do to build the boat? <laughs> now, we're not doomed. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it was placed upon that person to help Paul build that motherfucking boat. But they didn't do it. So then the most high gets that person who didn't do their job and sends someone else. No one can stop you from doing what it is you are sent here to do, but you. But if it is some type of trickery or manipulation or fuckery involved, you have divine forces. Whether it's 5D or 3D, whether it's flesh or spirit, <laughs> they're all surrounding you. We are here. We are everywhere. Call out to us. And when I say us, yes, baby, <laughs> I'm a tarot reader, I'm a vessel, I'm one of those, <laughs> I work for the divine. If you fuck with something that is of the divine, that's why I draw the line, because you cross the line. And I cannot fuck with you, and nor do I want to fuck with you, and I don't have to fuck with you, Okay? So, my beautiful collective, tap into your gifts. See who you are as a person so you can know what it is that you can use. The only way another person can tell you what it is that you can use, and I'm going to say this until y'all are blue in the face or until I turn blue in the face. <laughs> Either way, somebody's going to be blue out this bitch. Uh... Unless the divine, the most high, place it upon a vessel. Notice I said a vessel. Because I'm pretty sure if the most high places something of that nature, it's going to be on a vessel. And what I mean by a vessel is a person. A person may not even know that they're a vessel. They just think they're a being or human being. Whatever being that they think they are, a spiritual being, you feel me? But um, that's why you tap into your gifts so you'll know who you are as a person. That's the only way. Because only you can tell you. <laughs> you know, your mind, your memory has something in the very back. It's like a Akashic Records, basically. I don't, I don't know why I couldn't say that last time. Um, or it wouldn't, allow, it wouldn't allow me. They wouldn't allow me to say it. Um, but um, it, it stores everything. Your whole life. So, if it's something that's familiar to you, it will pick it up. If it's not, it will tell you. Go the opposite way. If you are not tapped in then the Most High will not leave you high and dry like the devil do. The Most High will send you a 3D person. That is where I come in or whoever the divine chooses to send you. And then the divine will place it upon that person. Hence what I said earlier. And the divine will say, hey, tell this person they need this. They need to do this. Blah, blah, blah. The divine will place it upon a person, a vessel. I mean, will place it upon a vessel to tell a person what it is. That is the only way, but not everyone is of the divine, so that's why you use your intuition and ask for the Son and Spirit. If you hear something, do not go against it. I went against it. Saw what happened to me. But hey, when it happened to me, I didn't let it get me down. I kept going on my journey. I did what the divine told me to do for that issue, and I kept it moving. Didn't look back, and not gonna look back. I don't have review mirrors or side mirrors on this car that I'm driving in on this journey. We can only push forward. When you are set and focused, you get that type of car. It's like some of you guys are still got a lot of junk and shit in your car. The car that I'm driving, if you look at it, you'll be like, oh my God, how do you get in this motherfucker? Body, mind, soul, voice, all that activated. Ain't no door handles. <laughs> oh my God, you don't have no rear view mirrors or no side mirrors. How are you? For one, I'm in my lane. There's no traffic. And there's no need for me to be looking back. Why am I going to look back for? 
it's a lot of certain things that's inside my car, but I'm going to keep it a secret because <laughs> it's my car. But with that being said, when you guys need knowledge, don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And if you scary because you feel as though what you asking is stupid or you embarrassed, whatever dumb ass reason it is, because you can ask a question. To not ask one is being dumb. Email me, spinksera at yahoo.com. Because I am here to help you along your journey. I'm not here to be a hindrance. I'm not here to stop you. I'm not here to manipulate you. And I'm not here to push an agenda of my own. I am only here to push the divine's agenda. I am only here to push the most high's agenda. I am only here to be service to the people for the great of the good. I stand on that. That is all through my mind, body, soul, and spirit. That is all I will stand for. That is all I will project. I, If you see me step outside my character like getting a little mad and stuff, granted, I'm only human. And every time I say I'm only human, the divine say, <clears throat> so I, I'm still working on that. I'm getting down lows and I have to do the work to know what they mean by that. I know I am an earth angel. I know that. Then I hear vroom, like a little truck going down the highway. So, it's like, no one's perfect. Thank you, Divine. No one's perfect. I'm not perfect. I'm far from fucking perfect, baby. I'm going to be honest. I do not want to be perfect. I, that's something that I do not want to be. Because there's no growth in that. You don't learn from that. And that's just some real shit. Now, granted, I don't want to have to go through pain and suffering, but if it's going to make me a better person or get me to where the fuck I'm going, so be it. I pray for strength to get through it. I pray for knowledge to know better. You see what I'm saying? It's just like a busload of shit that goes into this. It's not about who knows the most or who's right. Or, it's not about that. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to help you. Persevere, step into your power, walk into your power, help you along the way. Because this thing called life, it can get rough, it can get tough, it can get, you know, boggling. It's a lot of shit that can come with it. And to have something or someone that is really here to help you and don't want nothing from you. The only thing I want you to do is to build your connection with the most high. Thank the most high, don't thank me and pay it for it. Men and be service to someone else. Be another guiding light. That is it. When people say I'm asking for too much, I remove them because I don't ask for too much. The shit that I ask you is some shit that is built in your essence. It's some shit that you should want to do. Those who get it, get it. And those who don't, don't. Those who got it, got it. And those who don't, don't. Can you get it? It's all about your mind. Are you ambition, ambitious enough? Are you determined? Are you motivated? Are you inspired? Are you at least trying? Like, it's a lot of things that go into this. But don't ever stop your spiritual journey. Always keep going. This shit ain't rainbows, gumdrops, lollipops, and unicorns and shit. It's nothing like that. Anybody tell you it's like that. They're setting you up for failure. You're going to have liars, cheaters, manipulators, people that steal from you, people that act like they're your friend just so they can ride your wave. It's just family, friends, closest people to you. It's because it's your environment. That's what you are surrounding yourself with. It's up to you to clean it up, though. You don't let that break you or stop you. You don't let the devil or demons or whatever. You keep persevering. You keep going. That's what I'm here for, to make sure that you keep going. This is a marathon. So make sure you got water so you can keep running. Make sure you got the right chili that's cheering you on. It's a lot. And I'm going to be all the above. I am a shapeshifter as well, and not in a negative way. If you need someone to be your mother, I shift into her. If you need someone to be your daughter, I shift into her. That's what I mean by that. I'm going to make sure that you keep it moving. Ain't no stopping us now. Hey, we're on the move. 
moving, hey, hey, grooving. Ain't nobody stopping us. I know some people tried to hold us down before. Ask them where they going. They don't know, but you gon' know. So whatever, look, look. <laughs> tell them you refuse to be held down anymore. So don't you let nothing, nothing, hey, stand in your way. Come on, let me pause this. I want you to listen, listen to every word I say, every word I say. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. I'm going to drop that motherfucking song down in the comments, and I'm going to end that off on that note. I love when the divine sprinkle them. Sprinkling a message on us. Sprinkling a message on us. You never know what I'm going to come up with. I'm unpredictable, baby. I switch up and change up. Like my DNA. Like my energy, baby. But it's going to stay positive, baby. It's going to stay of the divine, baby. You feel me, baby? Do you feel me, though? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and for my people in the country, because we what? We get her done. Get her done. <laughs> we versatile over here. We a different genre of music every time. We not just rap and R&B. We can be jazz. We can be country. You feel me? We can be uh, rock and roll. We can be anything. So with that being said, be knowledgeable, people. That's all I ask. Make sure that you really know what it is you are doing, what it is you are calling on, and what it is you are allowing in your environment, and what it is you are placing upon your temple. It is very important. Your life depends on it and others around you. Let's not be selfish. We're only selfish when it goes against us. We're selfless because we're service to the people. We want everyone to win. Namaste, my beautiful babies.